Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at what happens when hydrogen reacts with your halogens. If we start off with the general word equation then, if you take hydrogen and react with any halide, any halogen, it will form a hydrogen halide. So for example, if we reacted hydrogen with chlorine, what you do is you take hydrogen and chlorine, add them together, and similar to what we've done in a previous video, you change the INE to IDE. So you end up with hydrogen chloride. And it's the same for every other halogen. So for example, if you had bromine, you take out the chlorine from this word equation and change it to hydrogen plus bromine gives you hydrogen bromide. It really is that simple. When you talk about the balanced equations, however, it does get a little bit more complicated, but if you remember a few key things, it's quite simple again. Now, we've talked about this in previous videos, but hydrogen is always diatomic, so it goes around in pairs, and so are your halides. Every halogen goes around in pairs. The hydrogen halides always go around singular, so you'll have one hydrogen and one halide. So it gives you the general formula, H2 plus X2 goes to HX. So if we have a look at an example, let's go with chlorine again. As I've said, hydrogen is diatomic, H2, chlorine, Cl2, and you just get one of each for your hydrogen halide, so hydrogen chloride is HCl. You then need to balance. I've got two hydrogens and two chlorines on the left, and I've only got one of each on the right, so if I put a two in front, it becomes balanced. And if you can learn just one example, it is exactly the same. So if we have a look at fluorine, for example, all you need to do is take out the Cl and replace it with F. So I get H2 plus F2 goes to 2HF. The only other thing we need to know from this video is what happens when you take these hydrogen halides and add them into water. So if I use the example of hydrogen and chlorine reacting to make hydrogen chloride, which is H2 plus Cl2 goes to 2HCl, Key thing to note from these is all three are gases. So you've got H2 gas, Cl2 gas, and 2HCl gas. Hydrogen chloride is a gas. Now if you take that and you dissolve it into H2O, into water, you get something that is aqueous, dissolved. And when something's aqueous, it dissociates, which means it splits up into its ions, which in this case is going to be 2Cl- ions and 2H plus ions. Hopefully you should remember from the acids topic that the H plus ions are what makes something acidic. Therefore, if you dissolve any hydrogen halide into water, it turns the solution acidic. Hopefully you'll realize HCl is hydrochloric acid. And if you were to change that and have hydrogen and fluorine reacting to make hydrogen fluoride, it then becomes hydrofluoric acid. And again, that pattern repeats regardless of the halogen that you use. Well, that's everything from this video then. I've got a few questions for you. So number one, I'd like you to write a word equation for the reaction between hydrogen and iodine, very similar to what we've just been talking about. Write a chemical equation for the reaction between hydrogen and bromine, and then explain why universal indicator will go red when hydrogen fluoride is dissolved in water. So think back to what we've talked through in this video, have a go at the questions, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's start off with the word equation then. So hydrogen reacts with iodine. We react it together, so we put our arrow in and it makes hydrogen iodide. Remembering you're changing that ending to IDE. The chemical equation for the reaction between hydrogen and bromine. We've said hydrogen is diatomic, so H2. You should know that bromine is a halogen, therefore that's diatomic as well. And you only need one of each to make your hydrogen bromide. However, I've got two bromines and two hydrogens on the left, therefore I need to put a two in front here. So you get one mark for your reactants, one mark for your products, and one mark for your balancing. Question three, explain why universal indicator will go red when hydrogen fluoride is dissolved in water. So your first marking point is for saying it contains hydrogen ions, and the second mark is for saying hydrogen ions make the solution acidic. That's pretty much it for this video. There is a review question for you, which is write a word equation for the reaction between hydrogen and fluorine this time, a chemical equation for the reaction between hydrogen and astatine, and then what will happen to universal indicator when hydrogen chloride is dissolved in water. So identical questions, just with different halogens. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can have a look at my latest video up there. You can also have a look at my website if you haven't seen it before, and you can click on subscribe down below. Bye now.